Hey guys, just a little bit I've been wanting to do on how I mounted my scooter to the back of my trailer. This is the 2018 Keystone Hideout 28 BHS. And this is what I've done. I was like taking the scooter with me. It's a 2014 Yamaha BWS 125. It weighs about 270 pounds. So this is how I've mounted it. I got uh, 18 inch receiver tubes, pre-made at, uh, they came from Prince's Auto here in Canada. As you can find them somewhere. And I bolt that around the uh, bumper mount frame, which is welded to the eight inch trailer frame. So I beefed up the uh, welding here it was a, like two inches there and two inches there so I filled this here as well put the bolts up around a mounting pipe above on each set of bolts and below and then the uh, tube I think it was two and a quarter I believe goes in this receiver whatever it is I just bought a section like six feet of this or seven feet and uh, cut it to length and made it work and then I had to pre-drill it for uh, the pins. So I got it all designed so I can uh, take it all off and the trailer is back to stock. There's nothing welded onto the, from the frame to the motorcycle mount. So and then it was a, uh, the same thing on both sides. Exact same thing, just wraps around the uh, bumper mount. And uh, it's just an 18 inch tube again. Same idea, beef the welding up a bit. So don't, if you're doing this, don't uh, mount anything to your bumper because they're made out of pop cans. Just thin as can be. And I think uh, this tube here sticks out, I don't know, probably 20 inches I'm guessing. And the bike clears by six inches, back of the trailer. So I like it so I can just pull the pins and take the, the carrier right off when I don't want to bring the bike with me, with us on trips. So I like that feature and I can take everything right off and there's no indication that there was a motorcycle mounted on the back of the trailer. So no big mods on the trailer. So anyways, that's a 2014 said uh, Yamaha BAWS and it weighs about 270 pounds. I tow it on the back. There's no issues whatsoever. I thought it would uh, affect the towing, but there's nothing you don't even feel on the back. So. All as well. I like it. So then I put the, uh, this comes with this little short ramp, probably a three footer. And it mounted on the back here, just dropped down over this little cleat here. But it was too steep, came down too steep right here. And the motor would, uh, the Scoots motor would hit on that. So that was no good. But I had, uh, my ATV ramp, so I just took one of the ramps and I got a nice, there's an arch ramp, probably six feet. I just lay it on there, on, on the angle, iron right there, or on the cleat. And it's beautiful, it's a one-man show to put the bike on. So you can uh, just have your straps ready. And you can balance, so I just balance it with one hand and strap the two back straps on first. And then you can let her go and do the front straps. Put them on there, the scooter is almost made for it. So then I put this yellow strap as a, as a it just was a little bit wobbly on the on the rack. So I put the uh, put that strap out extra on the angle, and it took it makes it really solid. It takes the wobble right out. So and the original motorcycle carrier came with that was going to a, like a two inch on a on your truck or whatever. But I cut that off. There's no need to have it on there. I cut it off and uh, left the uh, prongs for the for the hooks on there, so that worked out good. So I can take this off and cut it away. I like the feature. I think the rack is, meant, is uh, designed for 500 pounds, but I wouldn't take a chance on 500 pounds on the back of your travel trailer. Imagine there's a lot of dirt bikes and bikes that are in the same weight category, 270 pounds. Be a lot of bikes weighing that. So that's that. So this is what I usually 
This is fall of Canada and it's cold. And the leaves are down as you can tell by the crunch and the wind. This is what I usually ride. This is my GL 1800. Love it. Good ride. You want comfort? Buy that. Or one like that. That one's not for sale. So anyways, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below if you like. Thanks. Bye.